Jürgen, in 2013 you published the now famous mini brain paper where you grew human cerebral organoids in vitro. This attracted a huge amount of media attention and was listed by Wired Science as one of the top discoveries of the year. Why do you think the world was so captivated by your findings? So I think the idea of growing a human brain in a jar has always uh, fascinated people. There is uh, tons of science fiction movies that uh, deal with that. And I think that's part of the reason why there was such a gigantic press echo. The real use of our system, though, is that we can grow brain tissue essentially from any human, whether healthy or diseased. And that raises the hope that some of the major neurological disorders eventually maybe uh, can be modeled uh, in this culture system. And so do you know to what extent these organoids are truly recapitulating in vivo development? So from all we have done so far, it seems like organoid systems recapitulate the actual developmental processes that occur in our brain at a remarkable level of detail. What is different from in vivo, of course, is that there is no major direction in these organoids. The anterior, posterior, dorsal, ventral axis are more or less um, randomized. But we think that the developmental principles are pretty much obeyed. So, as well as the cerebral organoids, quite a number of in vitro organoid systems have been reported recently. Intestine, kidney, liver, pancreas, and many more. What do you think we can gain from studying these systems? I think organoid systems in general allow us as developmental biologists to do something that we have not been able to do for a long time, namely to study human development directly in human tissues. For a very long time, we always had to go this detour through model organisms. Now, I really do not want to say that model organisms are obsolete because they allow recapitulation of developmental processes at a much higher level of detail. But organoids are a fantastic model system to tell us whether what we learn from the model organisms is also applicable to the development of our own body. And what are the big challenges for the organoid field at the moment? There is currently two major challenges in the field. The first one is the high degree of variability of organoid model systems. Uh, any two organoids do not look the same. And the second one is that they cannot be automated. So far, no automatic systems uh, exist for growing organoids, but ultimately, if we want to use them for drug testing uh, or for large-scale patient screening, this hurdle will, be, will need to be overcome. So, Jürgen, you started out studying asymmetric cell division in Drosophila. How did you move into the human stem cell field? Well, my lab has undergone a natural drift from uh, the fruit fly Drosophila to more complex model organisms. Um, we studied originally neural development uh, in Drosophila, but at some point we were curious how does that work in vertebrates. And then we moved to the mouse, and uh, recent work from uh, Arnold Kriegsteins and Wieland Huttners and Victor Borel's lab has shown that there are some very characteristic differences between human and rodent um, brain development that captured my interest. And that was actually the reason for trying to move into humans. Now that's the PI version answer to that question. The real answer actually is that I had a fantastic postdoc in my lab, uh, Madeleine Lancaster, whose idea it was to actually move into human development. So I just followed her. And now she's gone off to set up her own lab, keeping working on this. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us today, Jürgen. As editor-in-chief of development, one of my missions is to attract more and better stem cell papers to the journal. So I encourage you to submit your next great stem cell paper to development. I or one of my expert colleagues will personally handle your paper, guiding you through every stage from submission to publication. There are many great reasons to publish with us, and I hope to see your next paper in development soon.